Yup. You can find a spider in water. But don't worry, this lightning fast scuba diving spider is here to help, not hurt us. Spring and summer bring loads of insects to bodies of water, along with these large spiders called fishing spiders. You might find one along the edge of a lake, stream, pond, or swamp. As scary as it may seem, it's actually doing you a favor by keeping the ecosystem healthy. And it does it all with a smile on its face. Many aquatic insects, including mosquitoes, begin their lives in water, so these spiders control their numbers right at the source. Fishing spiders can grow over three inches in size, with females usually being larger than males. A fishing spider's legs make up a good portion of its body, which is a good thing, since they're covered in sensitive, water-repelling hairs that alert the spider to surrounding vibrations in the water. As a result, fishing spiders don't need webs to catch food, but instead use patience, timing, and focus to ambush and pursue their prey. The spider's lightweight and water-repelling hairs allow surface tension to push the spider up to the water's surface and skate along the water. It is possible to see the spider catch a small fish or tadpole, However, a fishing spider's diet consists mostly of aquatic and terrestrial insects. Larger fish actually prey on fishing spiders, and so do certain reptiles, amphibians, and birds. There's even a type of diving spider wasp that hunts them. Here's my personal favorite characteristic of these spiders. They can dive underwater. They'll do this to hunt prey lurking under the surface, or to hide from potential threats. Oxygen is drawn from air bubbles beneath their abdomen in order to breathe underwater for several minutes. Would I handle a spider as big and fast as this one? Probably not. Most of the ones I find are actively hunting in water, on high alert, and extremely sensitive to surrounding movement but it's unlikely you'll ever be bitten by the spider unless it feels particularly threatened. Even then, the spider is shy and it'll probably run away or dive underwater before deciding to bite. As with other spider venom, a bite can cause more severe symptoms in those allergic to its venom. A likely occasion for a bite would be if you disturbed its nest. As you can see, fishing spiders play an essential role in controlling pests, while also sustaining other creatures in the ecosystem. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more peeks at wildlife.